we figured out that the rate law for iodide plus hydrogen peroxide plus hydrogen ions is K times the iodide to the first power, hydrogen ion second power, hydrogen peroxide to the second power. We also calculated the K as 1.8 times 10 to the sixth meters, to, sorry, molarity to the negative fourth, seconds to the negative one. So use that information, pause the video for a minute, and try to answer these three questions. Let's take a look at the answers to the three problems. First one, we have the rate is K iodine hydrogen ion squared, hydrogen peroxide squared, so my rate is 27 molarity per second. And I can do the same thing with the second one. For the problems at the bottom of the page, we're looking at the stoichiometry of the reaction. So if we know that the rate is 3 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity per second, then we can multiply it by 2 for hydrogen peroxide, by 6 for iodide, and by 3 for I2 and we note that we have negative signs for hydrogen peroxide and iodide because they're being used up. So let's take a look at the next problem. In this problem, we have rate is K times NO to a power times Br2 to a power. So I can look and compare reactions one and two. That will give me X and reactions 2 and 3 should give me y. So pause, find x, find y, and find k. When you're ready, start again. All right, let's take a look at our answers. Comparing 1 and 2, we can cross off things that are the same on both sides. So we can cross off k, and we can cross off the point ones, and we end up with four is two to the x power, so x has to be two there. And when we take a look at the second one, we can cross off point two squared, we can cross off k, and so we see that three is three to the y power, and the only way that's possible is if y equals 1. So here is my rate law. Rate is k times NO squared times Br2. To find k, I picked the middle one, plugged it in, and found my value for k. So we're going to try one more problem. And for this one, we're go I told you which trials. You're going to find x, y, k, and then the rate when these molarities are present. So pause and try figure that out. All right, so now you have figured those out, and hopefully your answers will match mine. Divide these. We have four. We can cross this off and this off. So we have 4 is 2 to the x power. x has to be 2. We can cross this one off. We can cross this one off. Here we get 1 is 2 to the y power. Well, the only way that's possible is if y is 0, because anything to the 0 power is 1. So that means rate is ka squared. B is not part of the rate law because B must show up after the slow step. Plug some stuff in to find K. And then since rate is A 
is k times a squared, we can find the rate of the reaction when we know those molarities. So hopefully that helped, and if you have any questions, let me know.